Well, hey guys, this is Pat from Rain Country. God is good all the time. And it's good and cold today. <laughs> Out in the shop here, uh, building Mama a, what she calls a rice bowl. Well, it's a little four and a half inch wide bowl. I think it's like three inches deep. So I got a, got a blank cut out and getting ready to mount it on the bowl plate so I can turn her a rice bowl. Um, I turned her one, another one yesterday and she handed it around that she needed a set. So that was indication enough for me to say, uh oh, I need to go out and make her at least another one, if not more than one. She has claimed that four is a set, so I. <laughs> so maybe I'll end up making her four. What I do is I take a shop towel and I take wood glue and I glue it to the bottom of this blank and to the top face of this uh, sacrificial piece of wood here and then I take screws and I can screw on the back side of this piece of sacrificial wood. So that's what I'm doing now is I'm just mounting the uh, bowl plate on here. are in, uh, curious as to what I'm doing with this bowl here. This is the bowl that I made Mrs. Rain yesterday. She's been treating it with coconut oil so I pilfered it from the house there. She had it sitting by the wood stove and it's soaking up soaking up uh, coconut oil. But anyways what I do when I'm trying to turn a duplicate bowl and I'm trying to match match this radius right here or this particular shape so I hold the bowl kind of up to the edge of it and just kind of look across the top the top of the bowl here to see if this shape is duplicating this shape here if it is you'll be able to see that shape kind of looking at it on a horizon uh, from top to top of the bowl there it's getting pretty close now that's what I've been doing um, after I get fairly close to the shape what I'll do is I'll come in and I'll start hollowing out the inside when I got a pretty good shape out here because the rest of this I'm going to probably take down with uh, the sand uh, with sanding. to maintain as close as I can the uh, tool rest to where my work is if you don't if you got too much of a gap then what's going to happen is your gouge or your other other tool is going to try to dig in and it's either going to break your bowl or 
could break your tool. The other thing I was going to want to point out, and I think I put, pointed out this in another video, but in case you haven't seen it, is I also look at the basically the horizon. I'll take my eye and I will go from this point to the back point, and I'll move my eyesight to where my eyesight is is straight through from one edge to the other, and that way I can know how deep my bowl is getting. So I want to go to 1 and 5 eighths, and right now I'm showing 1 and 3 eighths, so I got another quarter inch to go. What I mean about the horizon is lining up this edge with this edge, so I move my eyesight over to the point where those edges are parallel with one another. It's going to be roughly right in there somewhere where that one edge, the back edge just disappears or lines up with that front edge. So then I take my tape measure and I run it down to the bottom of the lowest point of the bowl and I'm shooting for one and five eighths and that is right there at one and five eighths. The one and five eighths line lines up with the two edges of the bowl, the front and the back of the bowl. So now I'm just going to true this up a little bit, try to smooth this out, and then I'll get the rest with the sandpaper, just try to knock knock a few of the little bumps off of here. I see some guys you'll just uh, hold the bowl and cut it right off with the cutting cutting tool or uh, separating tool I, I like to go down to where it's about a anywhere from an inch to half inch and then just finish it off with a saw because you never know how weak that point is uh, and then you can have these things just maybe spin off into oblivion <laughs> At least that's my impression anyways. Now I'm just go over and sand this down at the with the belt sander. Also when I'm I I failed to point out is that when I take the separating tool and I am actually cutting into this and cutting off, I actually cut in towards the center. Between this point and this point it it kind of curves in a little bit. What that will do for me is it will allow the bowl to sit flat and won't rock around on me. So I kind of dish it out in there a little bit. And then when I come over to the sander, I do likewise. I kind of apply. You can kind of see where I'm taking off right in here. I'll just keep sanding it around until it's gone. And then I'll go ahead and sand, sand the rest of this off flat. So this, uh, these bowls that I've been making, Heidi, have been from our ash tree from the front yard. We took out, actually, year before last. And uh, kids used to play in this tree and everything else. So these are kind of a sentimental thing for, for Heidi, and I suppose for me too. So this will be a, a little bowl to match Heidi's, the little bowl I made Heidi yesterday. So now she's got a set of two. I think they look fairly fairly close to the same. The one thing about a hand uh, doing things by hand, nothing is perfect. And so you're going to have little discrepancies between one bowl or the other. But uh, I mean to me they look like they're really close. These are four and a half inches wide at the top 
two and let's see two and three quarters at the bottom and like two inches deep here and then it's like one and five eighths between the depth uh from the bottom to the lip here so anyway just trying to keep mama rain happy and uh she's pretty easy to please actually so i don't want to tell her that <laughs> of course she's gonna find out when she does this video <laughs> anyway thanks for stopping by take care and come